All right. It, <gasps> Three new fungi. Baby, it's a party. Welcome back to Kim Chica's Cafe. It's time to sit back, relax, and play some indie games. Enjoy some indie games. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Uh, we are playing Strange Horticulture, and we just began this really lovely and relaxing adventure as a botanist. Uh, if you haven't seen the Steam page, here it is. It is a game all about identifying, puzzling through plants, and um, maybe dabbling in the occult. There's definitely witches, there's definitely poison, and perhaps we hold the power to do something about people who upset us as the, <laughs> as the botanist in the town with access to dangerous poisonous plants. I don't know. Um, but let's dive in back to the gameplay. We have been identifying plants, helping out our local townsfolk, uh, and exploring and just dabbling in, adventuring around, trying to discover some new plants. So let's do a little bit of exploration right now. Kick off today with, with an adventure. Um, the towns seem to not be as, as fruitful in terms of plant collection. So let's try Red Pike, which seems to be a mountainous area and see if anything comes from that. Dark thoughts swirl through my mind and even the beauty of Red Pike cannot dissolve them. Oh my gosh, are we starting today with rising dread? I don't think I'll hype up there today. <sighs> okay, I don't know what a rising dread is, but it's this down here. It seems to go up whenever bad things happen and I don't want it to fill. That's all. Uh, it does not seem like a good thing to have completed. All right, here's Nora. Not any wandering blue, boo. That name always reminds me of, uh, what's his name? The old hermit inventor, the wanderer. Anyway, the boo, if you got it. All right, we did finally get the entry for wandering, wandering boo, so we actually could identify it. Known as blue aloe, or blue winter, after its cool blue-gray flowers, winter boar is a hardy... Why do I never read the right entry? <laughs> Comprehension! Uh, wandering boo. It's a fungus, and among us, because it can move in the dark. Ah, yes. The underside of this mushroom has flowing lines that are sharp. Okay, so we only have two fun guy here. And so far, none of these have really moved excessively. Um, but what I can identify is there's, you can see the spores peeking up from, this is an underside view. And these don't seem to have raised spores. These do. So, Nora is gonna be uh, getting getting my best guess. Let's go. Hey, plant identified. All right, and we got a lady of summer plant, which I can see it's this yellow one right here, probably. Um, and the lady of summer aids with conditions of memory deterioration associated with old age. Cool. Oh my gosh, you know what? I should have ended the last video here because I didn't realize a day end would come up. Again, silly me, because it said day one Friday. Um, so before we end the day, let us let us do a label. I'm gonna just keep the fungi over here, just because, you know, it's a little bit better for my brain. And at least now I know, hey, there are days. <laughs> we can just do that. Before we end the day, actually, though, let's do one more travel. Let's go to the... I'm trying to be systematic a little bit, but I don't know if that's really helping. Um, let's just walk in this forest. Nothing here. Let's end the day. Oh. What is this? What is this? Row H. Oh! <gasps> yes, give me cards with clue. Oh my gosh. Okay, I feel like I need to get my notebook really fast because this is stuff that I would want to write. So, one second. 
I'm back. Okay, so I have had a notebook for game notes um, when I was playing Outer Wilds and Outer Wilds DLC, and it's been so nice to get back into writing notes for games, and I think this is probably a game that would benefit from that. So really quickly, I'm going to take a quick note for row H, the third river. Um, it started when she found something, something she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. All right, so my library friend might be able to help with this. That's it, okay. Ooh, day two, Saturday. Oh, I don't need it. Okay, well, it's fun to write things down. Um, row H, we've got in our clue drag area. Let's kick off the day with some exploration. Oh, it's not raining today. Oh, I love it. We can see there's trees in the distance. That's so nice. So let's look at row H. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, one, two, three, the third river. Let's go here. A dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from matted hide and rotten flesh. Death for one provides life for many. There's a plant we can collect from it. Ooh, this looks very similar to the other plant that we got in the forest. Look, here, let's, let's take a moment to compare these two. Look at how similar this one, this sort of more saturated, deeper blue, that came from when we explored and there was a bright sort of light in the forest, a bright flower, and it brought this person to tears That in the report we read. This one, not sure exactly what the properties are. Cool. Well, let's, let's see who, who's coming in today for some help. Isidore, bring me a sample of Apis Demisis, and be quick about it. That damn cat is setting off my allergies. No one insults Hellbore. Shouldn't have an animal in a shop like this. Ahem. Isidore Burbage. The barrister. Ooh. Burbage is a rich man who inherited a fortune but never experienced love as parents. Okay, fine. I can have a little sympathy for him. He expects people to do his bidding and is quick and ang to anger. Not too much sympathy, but I will have some. There are many in Undermere who would be glad to see the back of him, but with wealth comes power, and few would challenge him to his face. All right. So he is mad, doesn't like cats. I don't know what this apis demisis is, so let's see if we can figure out what it is based on the scientific names of some of these plants. I. Gandhi root. A plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles. Ah, lactose intolerant. I get it. I totally understand, man. Um, care must be taken, as the rough leaves can be an irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. Now, I do believe this is the plant. The leaves are coarse to the touch. That makes sense. I don't think there are any others that really fit the visual description, so... Again, we haven't been tricked by this book yet. We haven't been led astray, so let's let's provide this and we'll label it Gandhi Root. Nice. Meek Dew. The beautiful flowers made up of many smaller florets make a sought after decorative plant, although it's difficult to care for. Maybe a pleasant looking plant, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores. Ooh. All right. Interesting. So let's add that to the book and let us label our latest plant the Gandhi root. Now, pet hellbore. Oh, I love my cat so much. <laughs> Just look at this angel. <clears throat> okay. Let's do a travel in between customers. We don't have any other clues on places, so I'm just I'm just going around just to go around. 
As soon as I step off the road, two members of the Sisterhood step out and remind me that this is their forest. I am not welcome here. See, and this is a note that I'm going to take because I doubt the game will remind me of that, but I don't want to test their patient. Um, not welcome. I also want to note that the Abbey is looking for a plant because in our last episode, we, we went to this abbey um, over here in the, what is it? Upper, never eat soggy worms, uh, Northwest Quadrant at this Calder Abbey. And they're looking for a plant that means friend. And I have not yet come across that. Uh, what is that? A, B, C, 3. C, 3, P, O. All right, so let's see who's next on our list of customers. Ah, it's the postman. Lake Undermere is looking fine in the sunshine today. Here's your mail. Ooh, official seal. Maybe we'll go to Undermere, Lake Undermere. There's an old slate mine at Hard Knot that has some interesting looking fungi growing in it. I've never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the damp, dark tunnels left by tramways. Thought you might be interested. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. I hope we get to meet Amos someday. So, well, let me take a note really fast. So, hard knocked. Hard not mines. Um. And then they look like there's a fungi there. So I guess we could go directly to that. We also could go to Lake Undermere because, you know, maybe it's a sunny day. We might, we might see something interesting. Um, let's let's do that. Let's see if that uh, crops anything up. Because um, we know the mines will the mines will stay there. The mines will be there. Nothing here. Dang it, <laughs> game. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> I wish I had the full map to like X off places that I've been. Although I, I wonder if also as the game in the days change, maybe events change. So just because nothing happened today doesn't mean nothing will happen tomorrow as well. Okay, now I wanna go to the mines. So I'm gonna take some time, do a little watering just to get that will to explore and see if we can um, get that fungi before the next customer arrives. All right, got the will to explore. Let's now look for the mines. Kentamore, Kendall. Gosh. My brain can't see the hard knot mines, and I know I made a song about it last time. Ah, oh my gosh, here we are. Let's go to hard knot. An iron gate rusted by years of abandonment sits across the entrance to the tram tunnel. Rusted it may be, it won't budge. Locked. But we know a plant that can unlock things. Oh my gosh, okay, so where do we have that plant? Where's my book? Book! Do we have this plant? Heart-shaped leaves. I don't think we have it! Balls! Wait! No, no balls. We have... <laughs> We have heart-shaped leaves here. Let's see if this is clavulum, clavillium. Boom. Three plants identified, holy mackerel. Okay, so we identified clavillium and we've gotten a page, agoria. Oh my gosh, so many things. The gate swings open slowly, complaining loudly on its rusting hinges. After a short exploration of the tunnel, I am rewarded. 
All right. It, <gasps> Three new fungi. Baby, it's a party. Okay, so let's put them on our fungi shelf. Spread them out a little bit. Give them room to breathe. There we go. Okay, so let's label this one before we forget. Where's my labels? All right, so this one is Clavillium. Beautiful. It's a beautiful plant. And we can put that in the archive. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. I mean to put this into the archive. And we do have a note. Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Back Barrow. So maybe let's do a little excursion. One more excursion. Uh, we'll, we'll open the shop late. You know, it's it's Saturday. We all we also need time for adventure and fun. So northeast of Back Barrow. So Back Barrow. Where'd you go? Back Barrow. All right, so north east. Now, we don't know exactly where, so I might just pick a random place. They're important thing. <laughs> Fine. We shall keep looking later. Um oh, balls. I should have identified what what square did I click? I think it was this one, which is 22. Oh God, L, M, M22. That has already been taken for the northeast of back Barrow plant. Just, just to try not to repeat anything for a little bit. Okay, so let's put our stuff away. Ahem. Everyone's ready? Let's open up shop. Ding, ding. Reuben, oh, a Reuben sandwich sounds so good. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest, investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are a secretive lot and they're not keen to talk to me. Okay. Their leader, the Arda, whatever they call her. Oh snap, a murder! My instinct is that they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have a fox button that would help me win them over. All right, what did the fox button say? I don't know. Let's see. An offering of fox button. Oh, so represented a friendship. Okay, okay. Let's use this for the abbey later. So we are looking for thick, shiny leaves growing in opposing pairs. Thick, shiny leaves. Nope, small, delicate leaves. Blue flowers, stiff leaves. Perhaps. Um, this, ooh, this has the rounded shape that I'm looking for. It smells of nothing I can text. And also it looks like a little button, you know, at the top with the flower. And then, then we get to our fungi shelves. Okay, so I'm thinking this might be the fox button. Then we can go to the abbey. Yes. Perfecto. Brimlock. Those suffering from hypothermia can be rescued by a draught made from using leaves of the brimlock plant. It has a warming effect that protects against extreme cold. When conditions are just right in the cold of winter, Broomlock produces small yellow flowers. Okay. All right, so let's label this sucker. What does the fox say? Boom. All right. I feel like we are making really good and steady progress, and I love so much that we have a bit of a mystery now on our hands. We know that the coven has areas that they protect, like the forest we tried to go into. What was it? Grisdale Forest. Um, but now there's been a murder, and so we, we might be finding ourselves involved in the crosshairs of that murder, especially if it happens to be poison. Um, okay, so let's go to the Abbey, because we do know we can find something there. Okay, the small window opens. From the darkness within, a voice proclaims, Only a friend may enter. Well, here, my friend, have a fox button. Pew, pew, pew. 
It's a love love punch, my friend. <laughs> All right. Ooh, sheep snap. That looks delicious. It looks like a cookie. Um, hard outer shell and sound hollow when tapped. Mm, thought to bring good fortune when prepared. I was like, it looks like a moon cake. <laughs> looks delicious. All right. The hatch snaps shut and the oak door swings inward slowly without a sound. I am ushered in by a man wearing a plain brown robe. He nods silently when I ask about Long Meg. Why am I asking about Long Meg? And leads me through the abbey to a small library filled with scrolls and books. Without a word, he pauses for a moment, surveying before selecting a scroll and handing it to me. All right, regarding Long Meg. I, this might be a plant that I'm looking for. There is a stone circle north of Undermere. According to local legend, some hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years ago, a witch known as Long Meg lived nearby along with her daughters. They were wild, godless people who practiced evil magic until one night they went too far and Meg and her daughters were turned to stone. The tall stone that stands apart from the main circle is called Long Meg by the locals. Okay, and here, what is it called? With her daughters turned to stone. So here's the daughters. And then there's a tall stone that stands apart from the main circle. So I would imagine maybe one of these uh, adjacent squares to that. Interesting. We have the energy. Let's try, let's try exploring this really quickly. Let's not go to the daughters. Let's go next to the daughters at A26. Why did I come here? I don't know. I thought maybe there'd be something next to it. Well, okay. Well, now I'm like, maybe I should have just gone to the daughters. Me overthinking this. Okay. Let's water some plants, shall we? <laughs> I need to know. Okay, so let's quickly go to the daughters, see if there's anything here for us. The daughters. This circle of ancient rhyolite boulders has been a site of ritual importance for hundreds of years. A lone pillar of red sandstone stands off to one side. Okay, I was overthinking it. Is it? Hmm, all right. Okay, that's fine. We, we know about it now. Victoria, you're back. I was able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of St. John's Poppy, as medium using the room illegally, I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Is there a plant you know of that I could use to give them a scare and drive them away? I need my sleep. Okay, so she's asking for Harlequin Blue. I don't believe I have identified that yet. When the bushy blue flower heads die back, they release seeds with downy pappus, which assists in wind dispersal. Once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense, and as they burn, they let out high-pitched shrieks, wildly believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant. Ooh, dang, Victoria. Spicy, I like it. I like this plan. All right, well, let's see. Let's bushy blue flower heads. Okay. This is sort of a, a bushy blue looking flower. Light and airy scent. So this looks like that could be it. I don't think I have anything else that fits that description that's unlabeled. So let's let's see if this is it. Okay. So far we have we are a hundred percent in our identification, which is Exciting, but also I'm, I'm really hoping that it lets me know if it doesn't work. Um, the dried stem of the shimmer lung burns very brightly and noisily, letting off a near blinding white purple light. Ooh, that's a cool flower. I love that this is like slightly mystical. I love this, like, again, the, the occult and the mystical 
mysticism, I guess, makes this game really fun. Right on the edge of like real and not real. Uh, so this is Harlequin Blue. Bleh. <laughs> so we have we have gotten that. Now we have a couple of clues. We have three clues. One is just a drawing. Don't know what to do with this really, so I'm gonna put that back. Um, we have Long Meg, which we have not quite figured out. This has not been checked off, so there's something more. Um, there needs, there's probably a plant or something nearby that we haven't found. And then we have the dangerous plant near the back barrow in the hills. So let's, uh, let's, let's try that. Let's, let's do another hike out. This is a little bit more north instead of northeast, but it's in the hills, so I'm hoping this is accurate. Oh, yes! The weather changes fast out in the hills. What started as a gray morning has turned into bright sunshine. A good thing, too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm back and done, the cloud is sweeping back over, a cloak of unwelcome shade. New plant! Ooh! This one looks nice and grape-like, kind of diabolical in a fun way. Okay, new plant acquired. So let's check this off, because we got it. And let's drop that in the archive. Cool. All right, let's bring in another customer. Bethany Coleman. With a cloak. Are you, are you a witch? Are you part of the sisterhood? You may have heard the rumors that our ardor is dead. May Arduina bring her spirit peace. The nature of her death is unusual. The Sisterhood does not often look outside to outside help, but this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you entry into the forest. To be assured of your discretion, we require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. Mary's breath, oh God, do I have it? <laughs> oh, I hope I have it. This wide waxy leaf. Okay, wide waxy leaf. Wide waxy leaf. If I don't have it, what happens? If I give it the wrong plant, what happens? All right. Smooth, waxy. It looks wide. This one, there's too much of extra. Ah, but that's the veined leaves have a waxy finish. Okay, but those are, these are veined and this drawing is veined. Ooh, this is the closest I have been. Again, smooth waxy leaves. The picture explicitly has veins, so I am gonna try this out. Fingers crossed. Yes. All right, Mary's breath has been identified. Um, let's label it before I forget. say you, Letta. Oh, I like the little drawing in the bottom. We have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen and the Arja has been murdered. You will find us deep in Grisdale Forest, a mile from the lakeshore across from Torver. Please help us. Yours in hope, the Sisterhood of Arduina. I see two paths starting to emerge for me. I see helping the Sisterhood, and I see potentially helping those in the villages and towns who seek to maybe undermine them. My gut is going towards supporting the sisterhood, but you know, we'll see what happens. Um, but this is, this is proving to be an interesting, who knew being a botanist would be so interesting. Okay, let us, now we could go to the sisterhood. Let me see, we went to the abbey so I can mark this off. We have gone to the mines. I can mark that off. And Grisdale Fort. Yeah, let's let's do this. Let's go to the forest. Um, let me make sure I click on the right box. Um, a mile from the lakeshore across Torver. A mile from the lakeshore. <laughs> okay. Um, Grisdale Forest. Here's Torver. And one mile is one square in, so... Let's, this does not have the Grisdale Forest label and this does, so I'm gonna try this first. Here we go. A sister stop, 
tries to stop me from entering, but I show her the letter and she lets me through. I am ushered into a walled courtyard and through a large oak door, a long corridor, and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement. Lying on a table draped in silk is the Arja. There's not a mark on her, but oh, her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair are all black as a raven's wing. Do you know what could do this? Ask my escort. I set to work. All right, let's see. Wren. The long leaves of the wren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons and can be used to detect them. Has no flower. It is said to smell unpleasant. Okay, the cilantro of poison detectors. I got it. <sighs> no flower, eh? And I don't think I have the appropriate plant. Let me put let me put labeled plants on top, just to just to have them a bit more organized. Um. I might need to alphabetize this too, to be honest. Arlequin Blue, St. John's Wort. This is not identified. This is. Wandering Blue. I'll keep the, again, the fungi are so different looking. I want to keep them separate. I think that'll be easier for my brain. Um, we don't have this plant, so I am going to, hmm, where was this 17? J17. Okay, so J17 is the sisterhood. I will come back, my friends. We will figure this out. I need to do a little bit of exploration. Okay. Let's let's take another customer and see if we can earn some will to explore. Isidore, welcome back, my grumpy friend. I am this close to reporting you, halfwit. The last plant you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. I'll have your little shop shut down and tore the ground if you don't make this right. What? I need to think carefully about which plant to use here. My action could have consequences. Oh uh, no! Isidore will remember what you did. Okay. Butterdale or Meekdew? And do I? I don't think I have either. Okay, okay, let's... <laughs> the pressure is on! Let's look, look at Meek Dew first. Beautiful flowers, many smaller florets. Oh! I could give you painful sores. You come in here being mad at me? Probably because you used the plant incorrectly that I gave you. I remember it said the rough leaves are not, it should be used in moderation. I remember there was a note, a doctor's note, and you didn't listen to it. But, you know, the whole Isidore didn't have love from his parents. Maybe, maybe someone just gotta give him a chance. I don't know. We could, we could fix the rashes with Butterdale. Dark green leaves. I don't even know if I have these. I don't, I don't have Butterdale. I don't see anything that could match Butterdale. And I, I honestly don't think I have Meek Dew either. Made up of florets. I think what florets are these things? Oh, I might have Meek Dew. Yeah, this might be Meek Dew. How mean do I want to be? He is a rude, mean judge. That people... It seems like power has corrupted him a little bit. Uh, I'll do an explore. If I can't find it, let's give him the meek do justice, just to see. I'll do, I'll do an attempt to explore. <sighs> where would, where would, 
Nothing here. Nothing here! The game is telling me you only got one plant. It's not like I'm a doctor. I, I didn't sign any sort of <laughs> ethics <laughs> pledge. Oh, I feel bad, though. I don't want to make him get rashes. That's never fun. Not even rashes. Painful sores. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to be mean. But he did say I'm this close to reporting you halfwit. I mean, you didn't have to come in like that. And you insulted my cat. Huh. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Because also I have not given a negative, like I have not given anything that's resulted in any sort of negative anything. I hope this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass too hard. <sighs> this is going to come back to bite me in the ass real hard. I know it. Oh... Story in the dark red fruits because it did it, it just it it gave me the happy ding of like you did something so shucks um this should not be ingested under any circumstances as they are highly poisonous resulting in insanity and then death that is a red label if i ever saw one um a cross section of the stem shows the distinctive triple xylem and phloem of the story in dark red fruits I have one, one plant with dark red fruits. No, I have two, shoot. All right, well, I have this one with a dark red berry and this one with sort of the grape-like fruits on it. So let's, uh, let's label this the meek dew. We're gonna label it with a red because it causes sores. It does not seem very pleasant. Um, That's, that, that may not, uh, I, I'm probably gonna regret doing that. But you know what? You don't come into my store, insult my cat, call me a halfwit, and also it seems like you're not a very pleasant guy. So we're just, we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> and again, I'm sure painful sores aren't permanent. We can always heal him later if it turns out he sees some kindness in his heart and apologizes. <laughs> I'm so petty! You just don't insult my cat. Look at this cat. It's like the sweetest, beautifulest kitty ever. Well, that's the end of the day. <laughs> so let's uh let's finish this out and see what card we get. Draw a card. North of Hawkshead, east of Lowick, west of Rustland, south of Craggle Cr Crinkle Crags. Mm, Crinkle Crag sounds like a good fry. The book both fascinated her and terrified her in equal measure, and after studying it for some time, she reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it could never be found. <gasps> Wait a second. Is this talking about my friend Simone? Ooh, and I love so much that we can go back and see this, the rest of this narrative so we can connect it and not have to remember it. Thank you, game, for doing that. Thank you, devs, for doing that. Day three. Well, that is it for today. We are going to end this video right here. Ah, day three. I'm so excited. Um, there's been a murder. We might have been a little petty and... We have discovered more clues to more interesting plants. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, if you have not picked it up, it is available on Steam. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, by Bad Viking and Iceberg Interactive. And that's it for this episode of Kim Chica's Cafe playing Strange Horticulture. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please find me on twitch.tv slash kimchika where I play indie games a couple nights a week. I also am currently going through Breath of the Wild on Sundays. It's been amazing. Um, breath of fresh air, truly, for me playing a game like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, that you're finding lots of indie games to play, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!